Greetings. Welcome to another Mostly Mike Show 2-Minute Quickie. Today I'm going to share with you a method that I discovered to drag a 500-pound log over a nominal distance by myself with no special hoist or equipment aside from a piece of rope and a saw. Many of you probably already have this stuff at your disposal. I'll show you how to situate it so you too can move logs just as I do in this video. And here's how it all went down. So I was hammering down one of my trails on my bike when I happened upon these two trees that fell directly on top of one another across the trail. I thought to myself, this looks like a job for Trail Force One. What you are hearing is the actual call. Trail Force One, dispatch, do you copy? Over. Copy, this is Trail Force One, dispatch, what's your emergency? Over. This is mostly Mike, patrolling the southeast corner of the jungle, heading northbound. We have a code 429er, can you send back up? Over. Alright, enough nonsense. The clock's running, so let's go move some logs. These logs were cut up with a new secret weapon in Trail Force One Gamut, which will be an entirely separate video coming to your phone or computer screen soon. I was being very careful to save the long straight sections of trunk to use for skinnies, but there were a few problems. First of all, this incline was less than ideal for a skinny, so they had to be moved. Another problem was that the logs were way too heavy to move to a more suitable location. Or were they? Turns out, moving the logs is no problem. Let me show you how it's done. First we need to tie a timber hitch, which mine is slightly different from textbook, but it works. Just get the rope around the log about a half yard or half meter down from the end of the log, cross the rope, and take the loose end through the loop, and then make another loop above the same way and repeat. Then take the long end and get it around the log about halfway to the end and form another loop. Taking the long end through this new loop under the side facing the first knot that you tied. This knot should cinch the log, meaning the tighter you pull, the tighter that the loop should get, putting minimal stress on the first knot, which is what we're going for here. Next, we're going to form a loop using the overhand knot. This is the most basic form of knot made by doubling the rope a short distance as shown from the end of the log, crossing it, and then pulling the folded end through the new loop that you formed. This makes a lasso style knot. Next you'll need a decently long pole, which is what you'll need a saw for. The pole should be at least five feet or a meter and a half in length and of strong wood, perhaps a branch from the fallen tree that you just cut up. If you have a digging bar, tie rod, steel pipe, etc., you can skip this step. Stick the end of the pole through the lasso that you just made, and about a half the thickness of the log, higher than the log itself, and gently pull to cinch the loop around the pole. This is where we harness the power of one of my six favorite simple machines, the lever. Some say lever, but then who says leverage applied? Lever. We say leverage in these parts, so it's lever. Soap is lever 2000, and if your wife cheats, you just leave her. <laughs> Anyhow, push the top of the pole toward the log, jab the bottom into the ground, and pull firmly as you watch the log follow. This works similar to a P38 can opener in its actions, using the lasso knot as the fulcrum, creating a class 1 lever. By varying your style and changing the height of the knot, you can steer the log, sidestep and form some pretty fancy maneuvers. I just invented something here. I've never read about doing this anywhere, but it seems to work pretty damn good. I hope that this video helped you out or at minimum gave you a few laughs. Please like, comment, subscribe, or click the Amazon links in the description below if you really want to help this channel grow all at no cost to you, and you still get to keep the tips. Thanks for taking part in this Mostly Mike Show 2 Minute Quickie. Was it good for you?